Hey guys, welcome to my curls. I wanted to show you something super quick. It is amazing what is going on in our house and I have to share it with you. If you are a dog lover and have dogs, you must watch this video. As you all know, because you would have watched my other videos, we have a little white miniature schnauzer. His name is Maxi. And he is super scared of storms, of loud noises. Um, there are people actually building a house in the lot behind us and they are being so loud. They are cutting down trees, there's bulldozers, cement trucks, they're dropping stuff like all day long. There is beeping and banging and it's actually driving us all crazy. But I wanted to show you what's happening in our house. You can see Maxi. He's in his dog bed covered up with his little blanket right now. This is an absolute miracle and this is why I have to share it with you. We used to have three miniature schnauzers and we had them, all three of them, for about seven or eight or nine years, I guess. Um, and we actually lost two of them within a very short span of time last year. And so when that happened, um, well, back up. So our dogs have always had their own bedroom. They're just like our children. They each had their own crate with their own um, kind of beds and blankets in there so at night or anytime we left the house the dogs went in their crates that's where they stayed and that's where they slept every night we never let the dogs sleep with us and we had dog beds all over our house because the other two dogs loved the dog beds we had one in the living room we had one um, actually in our dining room because one of our dogs loved to uh, to lay in um, the dining room floor and look out the big window and see everything that was going on and watch the squirrels so we had dog beds everywhere Maxie has always hated a dog bed he absolutely refused to lay in them he would not even acknowledge that we had them but when we um, lost our other two dogs we felt really bad for Maxie being in a bedroom by himself at night and so we let him sleep with us for a little while just until he got kind of acclimated to being the only dog in the house and it is now a year and a half later and he is still sleeping with us the problem is Maxie wants to sleep on my pillow by my face cuddled up next to me and a lot of times he wants to sleep under the covers and as much as I love him I can't sleep when he's doing that he's just all over me he has his paws pressed into me he's stretching he's up shaking during the night like I sleep really bad when he is in the bed with us so anyway my husband and I actually started seeing on our social media feeds these ads popping up for they're called calming beds and you can see these fuzzy it has like a round lip on it and so Randy kept saying let's get Maxie one of these beds and I said why like he will not sleep in a dog bed he never even acknowledges the dog beds that we have so it kept coming up kept coming up and one day it was pouring down rain he would run and hide in our utility room and lay on the cold tile floor anytime that he was scared and so I decided why the heck not let's just try one of these beds and I ordered one it's under 50 bucks and y'all from the minute that I got this thing out of the box Maxie has been obsessed with this bed he wherever we put it he will lay in the bed and right now because it's raining and the guys are working on the house next door when I came in here to get in the shower to go to work he came in here and got in his bed and I covered him up with this little blanket because it's cold outside today this is a miracle like I'm not kidding if you have a dog that has anxiety or is scared of things 50 bucks is worth a shot like I'm not even kidding how incredible this thing is and what we do at night because Maxie still sleeps with us when we get it in bed at night we pull his bed down to the foot of our bed right here and he actually hops in it on his own every night and we cover him up and that is where he sleeps 
He sleeps there all night long. He never gets out of his bed until our alarm clock goes off and then he slowly works his way up to me and starts licking me on my hands or face because he wants me to get up. Guys, you, you gotta try this bed. It is called the calming bed. Now, I am not a paid endorser of this bed. I am just sharing this with you because it has been like the miracle product in our house this year. This has been super important. So important, in fact, that we are actually going on vacation in a couple weeks. Maxie is going to the beach with us and we are taking his bed. Like this is no joke how important his bed is. I mean, look at him in here. Is he not absolutely adorable? I mean, it, I, I love it and he loves his bed. So the beds are less than $50. I'll put the link to the website where I got them below. They come in two colors, like a tan and a gray, like a light gray. And there's a grid on their website where you see how much your dog weighs and how long your dog is. And it tells you the proper size to get. But then they recommended going a size up. And Maxie is a 17 pound miniature schnauzer. And I actually got the medium. And you can see in there, like when he is curled up, he's taking up the majority of the bed. But I guess that's the point of it so that he'll feel all tight and secure and not have a lot of extra space in the bed. So I got a medium, he's 17 pounds, but I just wanted to share this with you all because it is crazy how much he loves that bed. And in fact, when Randy and I got in bed last night, Maxie hopped right in his bed, I tucked him in and then I got in bed and Randy said, he really loves that bed. Like I cannot believe how much he loves that bed. It has just been amazing. So I hope this helps you. If you have a dog, try it out, especially a dog that has anxiety like our little guy does, or just, you know, you just want to try a new bed. It is absolutely worth the, the 50 bucks spent. So see you later.